Cooper, and I'm the head coach of Tennessee State. Tell us about the upcoming season. Well, I mean, I think it's an exciting time uh, for our program. I think if you if you take a look, if you believe in um, preseason predictions or preseason expectations, it's been a while uh, since Tennessee State has been you know at the level it is now. Still not at the top per se, but um, we've gotten better every year. This is uh, my third season that we're entering here, so um, we're excited. We return um, our whole group, um, and we had four young men that were sitting out. So. We've got a nucleus of players that are coming back with experience and sort of understand what we're trying to do now, so we're excited. TSU has improved in each of your first two seasons. What is the next step for your program? Well, I think the next step is to com um, compete for the OVC championship. Uh, you know, it's not hard to improve uh, on eight wins from our first year, but I think we went to 14 last year, and, and, and at one point actually we're in first place midway through the season. But, you know, having said that, we were a team that didn't have very much depth um, last year. We didn't have a whole lot of size. And now we had four young men that were sitting out. I think that are going to bring some depth to the program. They're going to bring some size. And so... Um, like I said before, when you take a look at this group, this is a group that's sort of been there before. We have enough pieces that understand what it's going to take to win this league. Um, but that's the expectation that, that we have as a team, is to compete and try to win OVC this year. You had three Division I transfers sitting out last year. How will their year of practicing with the team have an impact on this your squad. Well, I mean, I think it's always a benefit when you when you're able to get the transfers, they're able to be around the group, understand how you do things, and then you know just to get the feel for what we're trying to do. But um, we're excited to have them. By the same token, you know, part of it is they're going to have to understand how we do things and, and how to blend in with the group we have, and vice versa. The group that we had last year now has to take on. I may not play 37 minutes a game anymore. I'm going to be down to 25 minutes a game, 26 minutes a game. And if we're getting to that point to where we've got guys that are all playing around 26, 27 minutes a game, then, one, it tells me that we have depth. Two, it tells me that we're probably headed in the right direction because we're going to have a successful season. What do you think about the conference this year? Well, I would tell you, if as you look at the top, I don't know if there is a team that you can say per se, is going to win it. I think there are certainly a group of teams that on paper that you know are going to compete for it. I mean, obviously, you know Murray, and Murray's going to always be there. And you know Coach Lewis just always figures it out at P. But, you know, you look at Tech last year, and, of course, they returned, they returned the backcourt, which was one of the best backcourts in the league. And, and they certainly finished the year well. But I think you're also going to see, you think of a team like UT Martin, who had all the freshmen, and now the freshmen have matured and played really well down the stretch. Uh, you think of SEMO. They had a group of guys sitting out. So I think there's probably, you know, six or seven teams that, you know, you're not quite sure what you're going to see or what's going to happen, but any one of those teams could pop their head up. What do you like most about your team this year? Well, I think I like our depth. At, at least right now I like our depth, and if we could stay away from injuries because we haven't had it our first two years. So as it's shaping up, it looks like we're going to have some depth. Um, it, looks, it looks like we're going to have some guys that are going to be able to contribute. Um, but, you know, we'll see. We're still only a week in. What is the biggest challenge for your team? Well, I think this year, you know, the first two years we were probably doing the hunting. Um, I would tell you to a certain degree we're probably a team that will be hunted this year. I think there are some um, expectations that we have a chance to um, be successful this year. So um, for this group, how do we take that on? Um, you're talking about a program that hasn't had a winning season since 1995. And so one of my biggest concerns is how do we get this group to understand and to be mature enough to take all of this and still, you know, remain um, locked into what we're trying to accomplish. Tell us about your non-conference schedule. Well, some crazy coach decided to schedule it, and I'm not sure who that is. But, no, it's, it's our schedule. Um, we're excited about it. We're going to open up with, at St. Louis. Um, we also play South Carolina on the road. We're going to play at North Carolina on the road. We're going to play at Western Kentucky. So uh, I think if you take a look at that group, then – you know, we'll find out a little bit about us, and, and we're going to play those teams within the first two weeks of the season. Um, we, we've also got Belmont, who will be coming into the uh, league next year. We'll have um, Middle Tennessee State is coming um, to our place. So, you know, we're excited about it. I think it's going to be challenging. I think it's going to tell us a lot about our, a lot about our program and the group that we have.